Hello YouTube Reservoir Warrior here with a video I've been actually wanting to do for a long time and that's uh, my uh, Blu-ray slash DVD collection for anime. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the box sets and one of these box sets I actually haven't out opened yet so I'm going to open that on the channel, uh, open that in this video. Forgot I had this Gundam toy here. I got that at, uh, this is back when Tier 1 Games was still comics and toys and I got that from the owner. So happy I got that, but uh, first thing I want to show off is um, probably one of the oldest uh, ones in my collection, and that's the uh, premium edition of uh, Love Live School Idol Project. Can I even get this in frame fully? There we go. See, I know the uh, the actual DVDs for this are in another box, but this did come with a uh, scrapbook. This thing is huge on camera. And then this plant pamphlet here. Probably should get Card Captor Sakura. Man, I remember when that first came out. Pretty sure it was just called Card Captors when it came to the States, but there's one box set. I know which box the uh, actual uh, Blu rays are in. I just didn't feel like getting it for the sake of this video. And then the only two. Uh, and then the only two DVDs I don't have currently because they're in I forget which box is a random uh, volume of Gundam Seed I got at FYE years ago for only $3 and then one of the uh, Gundam Seed movies. But uh, first one here is the 15th anniversary edition of Magic Knight Ray Earth. I was so happy when I found this and I forget which anime convention. I want to say it was 2018. But this is probably the first anime I ever watched. And yeah, Umi was probably my first waifu. I always forget... I always forget their name. It's Yukari, Umi, and... Is it Fu or Fuka? I always forget. Oh, wait, the back of the box, right? No, it is Fu. No, Fuka is Persona 3. Sorry, I just recently purchased Persona 3, finally. Wasn't sure if it was coming to PC or not, along with Persona 4 Golden. So I waited until that announcement was official. I was kind of hoping Persona 4 Arena was also coming to Steam, but who knows, maybe in the future, if... Set, if Four golden sells well on Steam, but yeah, I'm enjoying uh, Persona 3 so far. Obviously didn't get to the part where I first meet Fuka and whatnot, but I have watched, uh, not watched, I've uh, read the manga for Persona 3, so I know what happens, but I always wanted to uh, play the game. And here's the uh, Season 2 15th Anniversary. So happy I have these. These are unedited, uncut. Which is great. You know me, I'm a sucker for anything clamp. I don't have Chobits though. Maybe I should get that in the future. Next box set is one of my favorite animes of all time. That's Outlaw Star. I think for my top 10 favorite anime, I want to try and get collector's editions for them if, if that's possible. So what's cool about this one is, yep, yeah, you have the Blu-ray. Mine sadly got damaged there, but yeah, the Blu-ray, this uh, cardboard piece that I never really took out, and then I like how this is a Blu-ray case, but this is a uh, regular DVDs. <laughs> These aren't Blu-rays yet; it's in a Blu-ray case, and then it came with a cool uh, art book. So this one's pretty nifty. Like I said, to save time, I'm not going to go in-depth with these boxes. Sorry, guys. I don't want this to be a 40-minute long video. And then I have both uh, both limited editions of a comic. Excuse me. Held in a hiccup there really well. Wow, that's a first. So I have both uh, limited editions of a comic got killed, and I got both of these as a package on eBay a few or a couple... No, a few years ago by now, for only $92. 
which I thought was really cool. So this one, I'll take these out because I did switch the covers on these. There we have Shell. Oh, I, did I have this up? Did I put this in Upside Down or something? That's really funny. Wow, I think I put this backwards. Or did I? I don't know. <laughs> this comes with a cool uh, book and whatnot. Gives you info on the characters and whatnot. So yeah, these are reverse covers because I liked uh, Shell and uh, Chelsea. And then what's cool about that die cut sticker is I, I actually was able to salvage it from my old laptop and put it on my new one, which I was really happy about. Temporary tattoos I never used, and the mini poster is actually still in here. I never put that up. And then what's cool about Volume 2 is that it does come with the soundtrack, which unfortunately doesn't come with the openings or endings. That would have been really cool. But still, if you're like me and appreciate uh, music, you'll like the soundtrack. I'll take that out too. I didn't switch the covers on these either. So there's that. Episode listings. And here's uh, the soundtrack. On uh, two discs. It's pretty cool. Probably shouldn't have recorded this on a small desk for these uh, box sets, but uh, I gotta manage somehow, right? Actually, now that all the box sets are done except for one, I have more room, which is great. I'll put these on my bed for now. <laughs> and I actually record with the flash, in case you guys didn't notice, just because of how bad the lighting is. I could put, I could uh, plug in lights I use for uh, my camera, but I decided not to. We'll go with the regular DVDs first and then the Blu-rays. So first one we have here is uh, Air Gear. For the longest time I was missing Disc 1. I know where Disc 1 is. I just didn't put it in here yet. I did flip the cover. This was a fun series I remember watching back when Funimation had their own TV channel. And then I thought I had these in order. Here we go. I got this one from a friend. I, I feel like this is a hentai. <laughs> or just a really etchy anime. Which is why I haven't really watched it yet. How do you pronounce this? Ikitosin? Is that how you pronounce it? My, my friend Jim gave this to me uh, before we... Or was it after? Oh no, after we got back from Anime Next in 2019. He gave me this. There we go. And then here's the inside. Yeah, this is definitely etchy. <laughs> Probably not hentai since it's since it was on Funimation and whatnot. And the only hentai, honestly, the only hentai I've ever watched in my life are AMVs at, I want to say 2018 Anime Boston with my friend Kyle. And speaking of my friend Kyle, he let me borrow this DVD years ago. I actually misplaced it for the longest time and then found it. Forgot to ask him if he wants this, but it's a Requiem from the Darkness. An anime that loves to mess with your mind. It's crazy and creepy and whatnot. Disturbing, of course, as well. But uh, if you love animes that mess with your mind, definitely recommend Requiem from the Darkness. I'm sure majority of you watching this have never heard of it. But yeah, I had to re-watch all the episodes multiple times just to really uh, understand it. And this one, I guess you could switch the cover. Don't know why you'd want her, though. Uh, we have Turn A Gundam, which is a very underrated Gundam series. I like it. I even like it more than Iron-Blooded Orphans, but that's not saying much. Oh, Iron-Blooded Orphans. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I got this at FYE many years ago, and I wish I got uh, the second... Uh, the second volume of this, but... This was an expensive DVD... I think this was like $60, and yeah, it's only for 25 episodes. I'm like, what, six discs, I think? 
Yeah, six discs. 25 episodes and $60. That's what always sucked about buying uh, uh, Blu-rays from uh, FYE. You're better off actually going to FYE booths at anime conventions, and you might find them cheaper. Most of the time. Probably the oldest uh, DVDs in my collection. That's for my favorite anime of all time. That's Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. These are the super amazing value editions. I would get, I believe that box set is called Forbidden Memories, but it doesn't come with, I think, the OVAs. I don't know why. But that's the reason why I got these. But I've watched this numerous times. It's still my favorite anime. It probably always will be my favorite anime. Unfortunately, doesn't have a great ending, but... I hope they make World Chronicle into an OVA at least, but I doubt it. Yeah, this one doesn't even close well. I, w I wouldn't even want that anime. I, I would not even want to see that remaster with like HD graphics or anything, because I love the... Uh, Early slash mid two thousands anime graphics, and then this one, <coughs> probably the second oldest DVD in my collection, and I actually got this signed by Leo Clark, which was awesome. And yep, I remember this anime vividly. Kind of relate to it in a way. I'll explain that eventually. Uh, I mean, I'll explain that when I eventually do my top ten favorite anime of all time list. So yeah, spoiler: this one's on there. Even though it's not the greatest, but, uh, Suzuka. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so of all the things for Leah Clark to sign, it was this. She did have a little print of Suzuka I could have got her to sign, but I asked, like, I asked first, is it okay if I get something I brought signed? And, uh, the lady helping out at Leah Clark's booth was like, yeah, of course, you just have to pay this much. I'm like, yeah, no problem. I think it was like $5 more than getting a normal autograph, which was no problem. She was shocked to see somebody who actually uh, remembered Suzuka, but I did like it. It's a mediocre, I will admit, it is a mediocre anime, but I still enjoyed it, and I love the opening, I love the opening and ending theme. But yeah, this again was my early days of uh, really watching anime, because, let's see... Well, early 90s, I don't remember much. I know it was the magical girl animes my sisters watched in Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, and whatnot. And then early 2000s, it was whatever Toonami was playing. But uh, my freshman and sophomore year of high school is when uh, I got exposed to the uh, Funimation channel, and that was awesome. And this was one of them I always watched. But yeah, it's a romantic sports anime. Like I said, on the mediocre side. Etchy moments in there for sure, but love how I got that signed though. Said all the uh, conventions this year got canceled. Actually, I don't know if Anime New York City got canceled yet, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be canceled. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, no, <laughs> no, that's probably gonna get canceled. You think I'm gonna put faith in De Blasio and the uh, Cuomo there? Not to get political or anything. Ah, uh, but yeah, New New York's a mess. So is Jersey where I live, but. Regardless, uh, here's something pretty cool I got during uh, this a recent Sentai Filmworks sale. Uh, I saw they had a Steelbook version of No Game No Life, and I could have gotten the regular Blu-ray for like 20 something. I'm like, no, I'll pay the 20 extra for Steelbook case, because you guys know me, I'm a sucker for Steelbook cases. So, yeah, this one's pretty cool. Absolutely. Like I said, you can't beat a steelbook. Whoop. But you have all 12 episodes and uh, the movie. So that's really cool. I doubt we'll get a season two, but who knows? You never know. I doubt that's going to happen. It's just one of those things that unfortunately we're never going to get. Here's a classic Code Geass. Everyone knows and loves Code Geass. Except my friend Jonah. <laughs> I don't think he was too crazy about Code Geass. I'm like, what? It's funny, he recently got into anime. And, uh, yeah, our tastes are completely different. It's funny. Here's one I bought blindly from FYE because it was on sale for 20 And I 
I actually still don't think I've ever watched it yet. So if you've watched Chaos Head, let me know how it is. It looked interesting. So that's why I decided to uh, pick it up. And yeah, that's the Super Amazing Value Edition. Got this at I forget which anime convention, but you guys know me. I love Blaze Blue, so I had to get this. Fun series. Fun series, honestly. Not like anything out of this world, but it was enjoyable for me. Ah, oh, Bento. <laughs> it's funny how I actually got into this anime. My friend Brandon uh, randomly had the uh, opening theme on his uh, YouTube playlist. And I'm like, wow, I really like this theme. What's the name of the anime? And he said Bento, and I looked it up. I'm like, they're fighting over uh, reduced price Bento boxes. Is that really what this anime pretty much is about? And yeah, sure enough, that is the case. I found that hilarious. Definitely one of the weirdest anime I've watched. Uh, Real Life, one of my favorites. I feel like this got overshadowed by ReZero and a bunch of others. This was a fun series, though. And then if you want a short, sweet, charming anime, Space Patrol Luluko. <laughs> You literally can finish the entire series in a little over an hour, I want to say. And uh, yeah, this is by Studio Trigger. They reference a lot of their other shows in there. Like, Over Justice will remind you immediately of Samurai Cop. <laughs> this was a fun one. This was definitely a fun one. I'd say I'd like everything Trigger makes, but that's not the case. Especially a lot of the recent anime I've not been a fan of. I tried to like Gridman, but I dropped it after six episodes. Same with Darling and the Franks. I did love, um, whatchamacallit. I did like His Neighbor, but that ending, ugh. They rushed it towards the end. It was bad. My favorite, uh, whatchamacallit. My favorite Isekai anime, and honestly, I feel it's still one of the best out there. I know a lot of people say season two is horrible, but I still love Log Horizon. Uh, two of my cosplay ideas were, of course, Shaoran from Subasa Reservoir Chronicle and then uh, Shiore over here. But uh, regardless, love this anime. Even though a lot of people complain about Series 2, I still love it. And I'd probably go with his uh, blue outfit just because I liked uh, that one more. Um, I'm kind of bummed because I don't know if you can tell, but there's like, yeah, this came damaged even though I bought it new. I don't think, yeah, my camera can sort of pick it up. Like has dents and whatnot. It's weird. But if you like Isekai, you can never go wrong with this. Dot Hack's another great one. I feel like the, I feel like Dot Hack is very forgotten. And finally, the one I haven't opened yet, uh, Knights of Sidonia: Battle for Planet Nine. I remember watching Knights of Sidonia when it first came out, and I've actually recently rewatched it, just so I can familiarize myself before I watch uh, season two, which I've never watched. I don't know why, but yeah, I bought the limited edition of this because it was pretty cheap. And I'm going to open up and uh, see uh, see all the bonus goodies we got. Wow, if I didn't open this, this video would be under 20 minutes. So here's the Blu-ray DVD, and the DVD one feels heavier. I know for some people, the art style throws them off. And that's what, like, I feel like that's a lot with uh, other Netflix original series, but... Lately, I've been liking Netflix original, anim uh, original series for anime a lot more than what Crunchyroll and... Funimation I've been putting out. Oh yeah, this comes with the movie. Forgot about that. So there's the Blu-ray. Or there's the DVD. Here are the Blu-ray. And let's open up the goodies. Oh, what is this? Oh. That's nifty. Comes with an episode guide. Alright. That's a nice touch. I don't really... You don't really see that often. In uh, box sets. So yes, this has all the goodies. 
or the extras. It's a lot thinner than I thought it would be. So we get a poster, which is basically the uh, the front. Yep, it's just the uh, front cover, just in poster form. Nothing crazy there. It's not like the No Game of Life poster I got from the High Dive booth when they were fairly new, I want to say. Put that back in here. So you get the Season 1 compilation movie. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I don't need to finish Season 1 then. I can just watch the compilation movie. Um, 24 page booklet, which I guess that's what the uh, guide was, and then uh, art cards. I always like when they throw nifty little extras. These are cool. Kind of double-sided. I wonder if these card sleeves I have will fit these. They're usually the card sleeves you use for, uh, like, booklet sports cards. They might be actually big enough to fit these. I mean, I could buy small frames as well, but I think I'll do that for the time being. These are cool. I love them. I don't even know if I'd frame these. Maybe I'd laminate them if I could. But, yeah. So that is everything that comes in that limited edition of Knights of Sidonia. I figured for the price they were selling this, couldn't really beat that. It beats spending uh, the original price for it, that's for sure, obviously. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I'm going to show these quick because I only have a few minutes left of memory. And then that will uh, do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And quick announcement. I've been recording a randomized playthrough of Fire Emblem and Sacred Stones. I hopefully will have episode one up either late tonight or tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow though. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. I don't know how frequently I'm going to be able to upload videos for that. It's not like I can record them every day. Wow, I am good at balancing. Because those are just falling on me. <laughs> These dang box sets. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I do want to get the Gundam 00 box set. That thing's expensive as heck, but I want it so bad. So that's my favorite Gundam series and my second favorite uh, anime of all time, and then I gotta figure out which Psycho Pass uh, box sets to buy, because those aren't easy to come by. One of them is, another one isn't, but anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy that Fire Emblem randomized playthrough, and I should start streaming soon as well. Those are gonna be surprise streams. You won't know when I stream until I uh, stream, and then you guys let me know, and I'll mention this in the description of the video as well, if uh, you would want me to stream on YouTube or Twitch. I feel like YouTube would be better, but up to you guys on that one. I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> anyway, thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.